Okay, pretty quick now on under here. I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a long time. I'm gonna make some homemade buttermilk biscuits. And I'm gonna video it while I'm doing it. <laughs> anyway, I gotta let me get my stuff together. I gotta get my I gotta get my just, I gotta get my uh, flap my silver eyes and flour. Is this ready yet? Yeah. Okay. I needed buttermilk, so I didn't have any. So what we did, we took canned milk and what we lemon juice and lemon juice. Yeah, canned milk and lemon juice. Let it set for five or ten minutes, and you got buttermilk. Cool looking. Okay, let me set everything down and I'll get started here. First, we start off with two cups of flour. How many scoops is uh? What is this? Is one and a quarter. For two eight, eight, okay. Need eight. Then my pharmacist recommended cat saving. Block arthritis pain per hour. Three. Six ninety nine. This burger is an investment that pays dividend after dividend in bottomless fries. Six. United Christian Seven. Academy is having an open house on Thursday, February 4th. Eight. We welcome you to join us for our morning visitation. Okay. Or our evening. All right, I need, uh... At United Christian Academy, we provide a quality education in a Christ-centered environment. Our classes are open to children of all ages, from preschool through high school. I need a quarter. We also offer competitive athletic programs. On February 4th, United Christian Academy, three miles west of there's a plastic uh, measuring cup. Well, since I don't have a measuring cup, I got it. Quarter cup. Okay. Same feeling. Yeah. yeah, a little dry. Well, right. oh, it feels wet to me. Huh? Gotta moisten it up a little bit. Huh? 
for a 15 year old daughter, Olivia. Get a mix there. Uh, Okay, take a little bit of flour. Put it over here. Okay, take this here. Is that right? I want it like that. Right Okay. Okay. Now, take a little bit of flour. Put it over the top of it. Down here. Take out always under tuck okay and over again what you do what I'm doing is called kneading k-n-n-e-d-i-n-g now you see how it's starting to tear? And you under tuck it. Sounds good. That's where you want it. Now you take an old fashioned rolling pin. Oh, I've got a better one. Take an old fashioned rolling pin like this here, the ones that got that on there. Which is real simple. Think yourself. If you did a post yesterday, the answer is no. If you did one sit today, that's better than the answer. If you did one sit today, that's a great place to walk. I'm going to keep it about that thick. Okay. Okay. Okay, get a pan, take a little can, perfect. Okay, so day two, right? You go a little bit farther, you pass the ice cream store again. This time you know the guy. And then they head over to the grocery store where you get what? Fresh fruits and vegetables. Show it here. And remember, when you go to the grocery store, stay on the perimeter. All the stuff in the middle, box, pan, stuff that Dr. Alves will tell you is not going to help you live. So that's day two. Day three, what are you going to do? Let's see where these little dots take us. Have a great day. Maybe you download a running app by now and you have a playlist with songs. You're around the block, you're back home. Now you take small scraps here, put them all together, and you need it again. Okay. Flatten out like this here. Take a little can. Roll it. Okay. Right here. He takes us to the next table, which is a problem. Because I know Gavin's coming over here. Now, what's the story? Temptation has a lot to do with motivation. Now, you take his last half here. 
And you want the results that you were bragging about earlier. So have a seat. I get some good stuff here. I'm drinking some of this right now. You drink in the water to get ready because it's a big part See how when you roll it, it starts to come pour like that? And I understand that means it's going to be good and fluffy. One night. What's the story? That's a lot. Okay. Now we stick it in the oven. So yeah, but we're on like week two of the challenge, and we went out to dinner, and this is a favorite dessert called the asphalt pie. Put it on about ten to twelve minutes, and I'll see y'all when it's done. Be right back.